<laughs> and we're live. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I have Shai, President Shai Reshef, and I have our student, Dan Garrick, and our alumni, um, Kala. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining. Um, thanks for coming in today. Um, I'm very excited to interview our very own president of University of the People, President Shai Reshef. Like I said, we'll also hear from our business administration, administration student, Daniel, or Dan. Um, we've gone from Daniel to Dan. Um, Kala, who has been on here before, she graduated with a degree in, in business admis administration. Um, so, like I said, I've previously interviewed Hala, so if you haven't seen her live event, I recommend checking it out. Of course, I've interviewed Shai before. He's a regular on our on our show, <laughs> as he is the president. Um, I'm Jessica, the social media and community manager at University of the People, and it's a pleasure to be here today. How is everybody doing? I hope you're all staying safe and healthy out there. I don't know what's happening with COVID, but I hope everything, you know, restrictions are starting to lift. Um, we're here today. Oh, and thank you to our viewers, of course, for tuning in. We couldn't be here without you. Um, I'm really excited because we are welcoming our biggest intake uh, to a new term. We have over 36,000 students this term. So thank you to everyone who has an enrolled at UO people and who's starting the new term with us. Um, please write in the comments what you're studying. How many of you guys are, are currently starting your first term with us? Let us know in the comments. I'd love to to differentiate the, the between the two. Um, and feel free to ask any questions. If I don't cover the questions during the live event, I will review and respond after. Um, and for all of our applicants out there, the first chance to apply for next term, just I've included a link to the application if you just click in the description. Um, and that's it. That's all I got. So for that, so let's get into the interview, shall we? Um, let's turn it over to President Shai Russia. Thank you, the one and only Jessica, and. Uh, it is a great pleasure to be here again with you. And um, I would like uh, to say to our current students, congratulations on starting your new term at your people. We wish everyone best of luck. As of today, COVID-19 has ripped through higher education around the world. And while many universities are moving online, Many are struggling to transition and enable their students to get a high quality higher education online. This is not the case with us. At your people, we are pride ourselves as the pioneers of online learning since 2009. And I'm honored by the 95% course completion rate from our students. When you look at how students these days talk about their experience online, the struggle they have when you look at when you read professors and universities completely complain of how hard it is and how dissatisfied they are we are very happy we have 11 years of experience we're doing extremely well both for ourselves and obviously for our students uh, this term these terms we have more instructors than ever before more students than ever before, studying with us from all around the world, from over 200 countries and territories. I want to wish all of our students, especially those that are here with us today, the very best of luck as you start your new term with us, whether it's your first term or whether you are continuing. Okay, thanks, Shai. That's a very nice message. Um, with so many students adjusting to changing COVID-19 restrictions around the world, what message do you have for our students and applicants? Well, if you're a student at University of the People, nothing will be affected for you. Everything will continue exactly as before without disruption. The best time to study with us is actually right now. We are an online university and we are a university 
built to only teach students students online and that is why we have been that's that's what we have been doing the past last years i'm so proud that our students can study with us without any disruption to courses exams and assignments and we have more students this term than ever than ever before and we are very proud to serve so many students especially these days Okay, thank you, Shai. So, um, can you explain to us how UO People has been able to continue without any disruption? Sure. Thanks to our cutting-edge educational technology, our professors, staff, and volunteers will continue to provide you with outstanding online education without disruption. You will still be able to complete your classes and submit coursework and exams without disruption. This means in these times of uncertainty, University of the People remains the most effective, stable, and reliable solution for students worldwide, and we are here for you. The best part is we are tuition-free, which makes us a fraction of the cost of any university in the world and we don't need to pay, and you don't need to pay anything until the first exam. We are in a situation where we use technology to serve our students, we use volunteers to serve our students, and since we are always online, this situation, this day situation, is nothing different for us. We just continue to give the best service to our students as usual. Okay, thank you so much, Shai. Now I'd like to bring in um, Dave and Hala, or sorry, Dan and Hala. I don't know where Dave came from. Um, Dan and Hala. Um, okay, so let's start with Dan. Dan, why did you choose to study with UO people? Well, well, first off, thanks for having me today. Uh, it's interesting you called me Dave because my twin brother's name is Dave, and he is in the chat asking, uh, saying hi. So it might have, it might have been hi, a subliminal Dave. message for you uh, and my he's also a student and my wife liz is on the chat who's also a student as well at you people okay, so are all studying i want to say hi to dave and liz thank you for joining us so the reason i chose the university of the people is interesting when i was looking to go back at school back to school a couple of years ago i've been with the university about a year and a half now and I, and i originally did go to college i was a college athlete and got hurt when i was younger and uh, like a lot of people left school and started working and about a year and a half ago, I decided to go back to school for me. So, you know, I've been blessed to have, you know, a lot of success in, in my life and business and um, personal and professional life. And so I wanted to go back to school as a personal accomplishment to myself um, and to be a good role model for my kids who are getting a little older and getting near college age and things like that. And at the time, I was actually talking to three or four other uh, universities um, about going there. And I stumbled across a video of Shai talking on Nas's Facebook page. And he, he said something in that video that um, that really stuck with me. And that video, President Rathef, you said, um, and I'll paraphrase, but he, you said something along the lines of getting a college education can change, change somebody's life, but educating 100 million people can change the world. So it was at that moment that I realized that if I was going to pick a school and put the time and effort in uh, to finish my degree, that it was gonna be with a school that I believed in their mission and I believe, and, and that aligned with my own beliefs. And that was really my inspiration for choosing University of the People. Um, so I may be unique in the sense that it wasn't, um, it was, I wasn't drawn to the school because of it being tuition free and things like that. It was truly because I was inspired by the video that I saw from you that, that really directed me to become a UO People student. And I've been there uh, a year and a half now. Um, and, and it was easy, all of my credits transferred from my other schools. And uh, it was just, it was an easy process. And I was, uh, I was inspired by, uh, by the video that I had seen, which I believe is still saved in my Facebook uh, from a year and a half down. Uh, I still have the video saved. So that, that was my, my inspiration for choosing school and the experience has been spectacular. My wife has now joined up, my twin brother is in his first term. Um, my wife has talked to other people that are now signed up and had their kids sign up. So I probably know a dozen people who are students uh, out of the 30,000 plus 
Um, but that, that's how I, I ended up here. Okay, amazing. Um, Dan, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing. Now I'm gonna bring in Hala. Hala. Yeah. Hi, Hala. Hi, Hala. Hala also has a really great story. Hala, how did you choose to study at UO Kupa? Um, well, I chose it because I have wanted, I always have wanted to study in an American university because I didn't like the idea of studying at local university. I see it's outdated curriculum, but I know that there will be so many difficulties, whether they are getting the visa for it, being accepted or accommodation. So I started to look for scholarships, and while I'm searching, I found you all people, and I saw uh, President Shayresh of uh, TED Talk. It was really inspiring, and um, it was such a chance for me. I was living in Syria, and you know, there was a crisis. I couldn't travel. Uh, I was working. Uh, it was the only opportunity for me because of its flexible system. So I applied and I liked how my advisors didn't stop helping me till I finished my application. Uh, completing my studies was a dream and with you all people, this dream turned to be real. I am glad that I could let my parents, my lovely family be proud of me. And that yeah, I felt emotional again. <laughs> How are you? Yes. How has this effect on me where she makes me cry a little? Um, <laughs> how and what about your partner? You have to, you forgot to talk about how you met your partner. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I found my partner in your people while I am was, I, I was uh, like sharing my ideas in discussion forum and I was like writing replies and uh, see my peers uh, posting. And I, uh, when I was like doing this, he noticed me. He saw my names, like Arabic names, and he like he wondered who is the girl from Syria. And like, you know, everyone know that Syria's like serious crisis, like making everyone like maybe dying or don't think about studying. So he just followed me and, and like uh, sent me a uh, message on LinkedIn and we start to talk and talk and talk and it's like um, a friendship. <laughs> it started like friendship in your people, <laughs> but then it turned to be really, uh, a really great relationship which end with our marriage and like it's really was a very, very special event in your people. So actually so I, didn't even, I didn't even plan this, but both um, Dan and Hala have partners who also study at UO people. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is really funny. It's just a coincidence, but I guess UO people is contagious. What do you think, Shai? I think we're becoming a matchmaking university. <laughs> no, but this is actually um, these are these are great stories and to hear about nas daily which will be very proud when i tell him that you joined because of the video and about ted talk and that you found your husband you people amazing stories you make us very proud great see you did say educating 100 million people could change the world and change lives so there here really we are here we are we are on the way no we doubt. Are awesome. um okay so I want to talk about COVID-19 for a minute. Um, Dan, let's start with you. How, what is the current, okay, so first of all, where are you living and what is the situation with COVID-19 there and how did it impact your study? So COVID-19, I live in Chicago in, in the United States uh, and COVID-19 has had a huge impact on, um, on us as a city and us on, as a company I work for and as a family. Um, nobody's immune to sort of the far-reaching touch of COVID-19 right now. There's been a, a lot of different, uh, life is a lot different in the current pandemic um, on a personal level, professional level, academic level. Um, from a professional level, for example, I've gotten very used to being on video calls all day long, uh, generally back-to-back -back calls, but but I'm, I have the ability now to wear a work shirt and shorts uh, because nobody can see me from the waist down. So that's been an interesting change. Um, from a personal perspective, you know, you know having the kids home all day, uh, doing homeschooling with them has been interesting. We, my wife and I have become uh, pseudo teachers at the same time uh, that we never thought we would be. 
but from a from an academic perspective, it's actually made things a little easier for me because I don't have to deal with things like commuting to work and commuting home and being stuck yeah. in traffic. Um, so although the days are a little longer from a work perspective and a little more um, productive because of uh, more time, where I used to go take 20 minute break to go get a cup of coffee, now I go six feet behind me and make a cup of coffee and sit back down. Um, but what I actually did was I found that because I had so much extra time at home last term, um, the two classes I was taking, I had more than enough time to do them. So I, I decided to take three classes this term for the first time uh, in the year and a half I've been with University of People. And you know, I know we're, we're starting week two today, uh, but week one went really well. I mean, even with three classes and depending on how long this uh, the COVID-19 impact kind of lasts in Chicago or for my company, which we have started to bring people back. Um, very few, 1% of the people have started to come back so far. Um, but if it, if it stretches out much longer, I may actually even entertain the, the, the notion of doing four classes next wow. time um, to try to speed things up a little bit. Good for you. And Hala, I know you're not done here. You graduated from University of the People, but yeah. uh, where are you located and what's going on with COVID-19 for you? Yeah. Uh, actually, in Turkey, uh, government quick and effective steps to prevent COVID-19 from spreading out. Now, hopefully, things go better, like down, quarantine, nearly finished. Um, to be honest, I am an introvert person. I can stay at home for a long time. So COVID-19 was a chance for me. But this time, I felt that I have to start to do something while I'm sitting at home. So you may think, what a chance here. Like, in my opinion, COVID-19 makes people uh, think out of the box. It let them think seriously about online study, work, courses, and improving themselves. After making online resources the last option, now people started to put that option at the beginning. I remember when I applied for your people in 2016, many people asked me, is that real? Can you have a certificate from that university? So now this idea is no longer strange. And uh, I would love to tell those people, yes, I had my certificate and I graduated from an accredited American online university named you all people. And I have to share this because, yes, I got my certificate, like it's here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so that's it, yeah. Thank you for sharing that. That's really cute. Um, that's really sweet. Congratulations. And you Thanks. are now you're doing your you're a designer. Is that right? Yeah, but you know, because of quarantine and COVID-19, I applied for some companies, but uh, because of this situation, I, I had to wait. And I, because I didn't like, like sitting and do, uh, don't do anything, so I started to work online as an Arabic teacher for English native speakers. And I was very happy because of my English level, which was improved very much after studying at UO people. Oh, and so in touch cool. with the friends, advisor, and of course my study in business administration. I was shocked actually. How can I explain real real Arabic expressions in English? Add examples, add and speak fluent without hesitation. That increased my self confidence because um, it was such a challenging step for me. Like I I didn't know that our minds is stronger than what we think. And each experience we enter to will definitely add a new and deep idea without our notice. So from my special experience with, with experience with online study, I didn't just got a degree. I also realized the importance of online resources. Um, my discipline were improved and now I am more resourcefulness. Okay, thank you. That's really great to hear. I think Shai likes what he's hearing because he's smiling. Um, okay, so Dan, um, I'm going to ask you a question. Um, for those who are not sure about studying at UO People or like trans transferring to online an online university, um, they're not sure if UO People is for them. What advice do you have? Um, I guess I would say, uh, do it. Absolutely, do it. Do it. To Hala's point, do it to for the benefits for you. Do it for all of the uh, sort of intangible things that you didn't think you were going to get out of it, apart from a high quality education. Um, don't be don't be scared about it. Just I, I think school is 
is what you make of it, right? If you have the drive and the desire to accomplish your goals, then uh, you'll accomplish them just as effectively at an, on an online university as you would in a traditional brick and mortar. Um, I think actually to some degree, probably uh, it's easier to do it online because of some of the things I mentioned about my COVID situation, right? Not commuting, squeezing things in the schedule, the uh, extreme flexibility, um, the, the school week that's designed from Thursday to Wednesday, which which automatically pads in the, the slower time of the week for most people, Thursday, Friday, and the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, to be able to focus on these things and, and then refine your assignments and things on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, and replying to discussion posts and things like that. So the format at UO People is just highly conducive to uh, being able to do this flexibly, especially for adults uh, with families and full-time jobs. Um, I think like we, we were talking a little while ago, uh, there was probably one situation in the last year and a half where it was challenging. And that was where I was helping to lead my company's COVID-19 response and moving 33,000 people home in a, in a matter of a couple of days. So that was the only time in, in an extraordinary situation going on globally where I was, where it was challenging to do some things, but, but the school was there for me. The, the site was available. Moodle was open every day, you know, and I was able to, you know, complete 16 hour days at work and come home and still have all of the resources available to me to be able to submit my things on time and get those things done. Um, yeah, so you all people is flexible because it is 100% online. Um, thank you for adding that. Man. Um, okay, so how a question for you. What was your favorite part about studying at UO people? I think I might know what it was. <laughs> Meet my husband. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, the best part was to have the um, instructor motivated me. You know, I was living in Syria in that time, and I faced difficulties, I faced difficult situations many times, which led to have late assignments. I remember uh, once my instructor was really understanding after explaining my circumstances, he let me send assignments to an email and graded them for me. And for sure, I met um, friends from around the world, and now I can help people and inspire, inspire them to stop putting excuses and start changing their lives. Yeah. People know that education is so important, but sometimes life condition, difficulties, and challenges become stronger. But as what the President Shay Rishif said in TED Talk, education is a major factor in solving this global challenge. Uh, also, uh, what I really love about you all people is when you finish your studies, that doesn't mean you are no, no longer a part of this community. You can contrib contribute in changing the other's life by being an ambassador for you all people and joining such events, speak about your experience. Okay, thank you for sharing. And what about you, Dan? What is your favorite experience doing about studying you all people? My favorite experience? Um, like I said before, actually one of my favorite experiences is, is talking about the school, is telling other people about the opportunities, telling other people about um, how great it is to attend the school. Um, and I assure everybody this was not, this was not prep, these were not prep answers. They, these, uh, this is, I, to, to Hala's point, you know, after my first or second term, I I received an email about, hey, we're looking for ambassadors, and I signed up as an ambassador. I preach the school every chance I get, um, all the way until I've gotten people to submit, like my wife, to, she finally broke down and got her to join, and, and my brother, and uh, because, uh, you know, because they wanted to go back to school as well, but probably also because they were sick of hearing me talk about it all the time. Um, but being, being an advocate for the school and just, um, there are things that I've learned, and I've been in business for 25 years, and I've learned a lot over those years. Uh, I told Jessica earlier that I think I've earned two bachelor's degrees in life already. Um, but going back and, and learning things in school that I wouldn't have have otherwise unless I had signed up at UO people um, and sort of broadened my, my horizons, broadened my view of the world. Um, and then meeting people from around the world is spectacular. I mean, understanding uh, in the pre-meetup the pre, uh, pre for this meeting, I asked 
a lot, uh, you know, how's the weather where she's at and how are things there? And because I love just hearing other people's perspectives and, and uh, hearing about the lenses in which they view the world is fantastic. Okay, Deb, thank you so much for sharing. I'm going to bring it back to Shai. Hi, Shai. How's Hi. it going? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so for those um, who are new to online learning, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about how our students might interact with classmates at UL people. Yeah, well, um, well, we can't promise everyone that they will find their husband or wife <laughs> in your people. Some, but not everyone. <laughs> uh, the core teaching framer, framer work is based on collaborative learning. So all our courses are built around practical and not theory. Uh, to ensure, to enhance this active um, learning, our degrees are designed around learning, learning in groups, um, which, which discussion boards and peer-to-peer -peer ass uh, assessments. This means that um, your learning is heightened by a constant interaction with students in your class who live and see the world from different cultures, cities, countries, and continents, exactly like uh, Dan described uh, a minute ago. Each week, students will take part in discussion forums with their classmates. We have small online classes of 20 to 30 students. Our instructors can really focus on each student, student's need. Each student is appointed a personal program advisor to personalize support, course selection help, and encouragement throughout their studies. This is quite a unique feature of your people, having program advisor to every student to help them along, along the way. We also have your people at communities where students can get involved more, and our ambassador and our ambassador programs, uh, again, as Dan just mentioned, uh, to help um, to help us spread the word and to help other students as well. Okay, great, thank you, Shai. And um, how does a UO people degree help students with their lives? Maybe you can talk about what other students have gone at, what students have gone on to to achieve after their um, their degree at UO people. Right. When when we are while well, we are re relatively a young university, uh, and we are only eleven years old, we already have thousands of graduates, and we are extremely proud with their achievements. Um, UO people students have gone on to work for major companies such as Amazon, Apple, AT and T, Microsoft, Dell. IBM, Wells Fargo, Deloitte, and many others. Um, Sarah, one of our students, uh, was homeless. She eventually dropped out of high school and had two children. It was very difficult to find a job for her. So Sarah started completing her education and eventually enrolled at uh, your people to get her MBA. And now she has a job as a manager at Amazon. We have students who start and expand their business. Doug, for example, graduated from your people while running his own business and spending quality time with his family. Complete another degree. Nieko uh, moved from Japan to the US to expand, expand her company globally. She attended your people to earn a degree in business, associate degree in business administration transferred into UC Berkeley through our agreement with them and was completed her degree with straight A grades, straight 4.0. And now recently, she's just uh, been accepted into master program in MIT. So we are actually have amazing success stories of our graduates. We are very proud of them and we waiting to have many more stories like like those. Um, yes, and also thank you for sharing that, Shai. And I want to add that Sarah, both Sarah and Doug were featured in NAS Daily videos, which you can see on our YouTube channel, our Facebook channel, 
Instagram, Twitter, it's all there. Um, Sarah's was the most- course will. Mako, yes. Mako's isn't, um, wasn't released yet. So we're waiting for Mako. Oh, really? Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay, so Shai, what tips do you have for our current, current students to help stay motivated during these uncertain times? You know, the message that I have uh, or to our students is that it's important to stick to a schedule. Stay safe, stay calm, stay healthy, and connected with the University of the People by your side. That's my message. Okay, and Shai, as always, you're always so inspirational to everybody. Do you have any final thoughts? Well, I said it before, and I think it is important to say it again. You should always remember, you can never be predict what life will have for you tomorrow, next month, or next year. The only one thing that you can never be taken from you, the one thing that can never be taken from you is your education. So make sure to hold on to this, the opportunity you people give you and make, make the best use of it because this is your future. Well, those are great final final thoughts. Thank you, Shai. Thank you, Hala. Thank you, Jan, for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I wish everyone the best of luck this term. And if you haven't applied to, to you old people yet, now, now here's first chance to save your spot, just click the description, the link in the description of this event. It'll take you straight to the application base page. Remember, you don't have to pay any assessment fees up front. You can wait until the end of the term to pay, so there's no risk. Um, as I mentioned, Corona has impacted our students from all over the world, but we want to let remind you that nothing has changed at you old people. Any questions, you can email your advisor or send an email to admissions at uopeople.edu. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and thank you so much to all our wonderful guests and viewers. And that's all I got for today. I will see you on Sunday for Sit Down Sunday, where we talk about all the exciting events we have planned for you at UO People. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you all. Bye, thank, you. thank you. Have a Bye. Thank you.